Okay, we've got a couple of big sets today. Um, some letters I have a lot of records in. In fact, I'm a little out of breath from carrying them into this other room. But I'm excited to share them with you. We're going R's and S's. And I know for a fact some of you are going to be very excited about at least one of the artists on the S's. So let's start with the R's though. Some I'm very excited about. And I'm starting with a really strong one. Corinne Bailey Ray, self-titled album. If you have never heard this album, this is an absolutely stunning debut album. We definitely sold this in Starbucks when I worked there. Uh, this is just black vinyl. I was so glad to get a copy of this. I don't even remember exactly how I found a copy, but I was hunting for this record for sure. Um, this has like a star. It has Enchanted. Put your records on. My all-time favorite song by her is I'd Like To, which is on this album. I highly recommend this. It's like soulful, beautiful R&B. Uh, this album especially has a lot of very mellow vibes, which I dig. And then this was the first Record Store Day album I ever got. And really, it's my brother-in-law who helped pick this up for me. Um, because I have not yet made it to a Record Store Day, really. This was last year, 2020. Uh, two record store day, uh, Corn Bailey Ray the C, uh, another gatefold, another single LP, um, but this one being a record store day one, you can kind of expect has something a little bit prettier on the vinyl than just plain old black. It's got this real beautiful blue. Um, again, I kind of uh, explained what she sounds like a minute ago. I highly recommend listening to her. Um, this album feels like the first time I do it all again as a huge hit off of this album, Paris nights, New York mornings, uh, and the sea, all really good tracks. Highly recommend next red hot chili peppers, blood sugar, sex magic. Uh, this album, not a gatefold single, single opening. Um, this is. This is an album that meant so much to me as a kid. I, I This was my favorite album when I was in like fifth grade. And really, I think part of the reason I loved it so much is my cousin Jason was really into them. And he introduced me to them. And I thought Jason was the coolest cat. Um, and then this album, I he seemed to like it a lot. But it just resonated with me as well. It had those cool funk vibes. I mean, flea on bass. You can't, can't not love that. Of course, it's got Under the Bridge, which is very... Uh, kind of a more mellow track, but it's also got Give It Away. Am I right? Does it have Give It Away? Or is that Mother's Milk? No, Give It Away on this one. That's what I thought. Uh, Under the Bridge. Um, man, there's so many uh, songs on here, some of which I cannot really mention out loud because of the content. But uh, yeah, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, that is a, a fantastic album. And man, does it sound good. Sounds so good. Okay, Real Big Fish. Uh, Life Sucks, So Let's Dance. This might be one of the first ska albums I got when I was getting back into ska. This had just come came out. I really didn't know Real Big Fish that well, but I liked their sound, and I knew that they were an important band in 90s ska. Um, and so when they had a new album coming out, I was like, let's, let's get it. So this has the song Life Sucks, Let's Dance, which is a fantastic song. Um, it's got Ska Show, which is a fantastic song. Uh, GD Beautiful Day, uh, great song. Uh, this one is uh, also black vinyl. I don't know why I keep pulling out the black vinyl, but I think part part of it, honestly, is I don't remember what's what. I don't have a great memory for that for the most part, but um, there are a few that really stand out, but most of them I'm like, I don't remember what it is. Uh, so Real Big Fish, definitely a great ska album. All right, next, another great band, Reliant K. Uh, don't have their first album on vinyl yet, although I definitely would love to get a copy. I haven't seen it pressed in a while. This is The Anatomy of the Tongue-in-Cheek, so this was their second album, I believe. It's got Kickoff, Pressing On, Sadie Hawkins Dance, maybe it's Maybelline. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of great tracks on here. Those are probably the biggest ones, the ones I like the most. For the moments, I feel faint. Uh, this is a Gatefold. It is a double LP. Um, this one came from SMLXL Vinyl. It's clear vinyl. Uh, 
great album. If you've never listened to Reliant K, I think they're kind of underrated in some ways. They're one of those bands that I think could have been, you know, up on the maybe just a little bit below MXPX, and 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 they didn't get that 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 kind of attention really. Uh, next album by them, uh, two lefts don't make a right, but three do. Uh, the orange cover. This is again SMLXL vinyl. Uh, gatefold, great album. Uh, Reliant K kind of started out really as like pop punk, and then in their later albums they become more just kind of poppy uh, music. But um, I really enjoy them. Um, they, they they're one of those bands that have like these really silly songs, kind of like Five Iron Frenzy, you know. They have these really, really silly songs, and then they have these songs that are incredibly deep and meaningful, um, and I can really appreciate both of those, you know, for what they are. Another Reliant K here. This is Reliant K. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite album by them. Double LP, Gatefold, SML, XL, Vinyl Exclusive. Um, and this real stunning blue with a little bit of, like, smoky smokiness in there uh let's see I, I think the other one's blue also but let me just double check because uh, sometimes they'll do one where you know one lp is one color and the other is another <laughs> oh no this is a different color oh that's right that's right that's right this one is a lighter blue with like a cloudy sky kind of thing going on in there which really fits the cover um, they both do, but I think the lighter one, you really get the cloudiness a little bit better than you do with the, the darker blue. The darker blue is kind of the same color as the band's name on the cover. Great album. Uh, so this one's my favorite uh, album, and my favorite song by them of all time is Witch to Bury Us or the Hatchet, um, which leads right into the song called Let It All Out, which those two go together so, so well. Um, I don't think I said which were my favorite tracks on this one, so I'm going to go back for a second. Uh, for this one, oh man, In Love with the 80s, uh, Pink Tux to the Prom is definitely my favorite track off this. But you've also got Chapstick, Chap Lips, and things like Chemistry and Mood Rings. Um, yeah, so good good tracks. Reliant K, definitely a band you need to hear. Next is R.E.M., um, legendary band. Automatic for the People, this came out around the anniversary of the album. Uh, this is my favorite album by them by far. I've... I had heard R.E.M. some growing up. It's just black vinyl. I had heard R.E.M. Um, some growing up. I have a, an older sister who's about nine years older than me. Um, in fact, her birthday is tomorrow, so happy birthday to her. Um, uh, but I don't know that she necessarily listened to them a lot, but I did grow up hearing bands of that time period a lot. Um, but that is my favorite album, and part of why that's my favorite album really has to do with Dashboard Confessional. Um, and their album covers performance at Arlene's Grocery, but really a fantastic album. Um, and my favorite track off of Automatic for the People is uh, either um, Try Not to Breathe is a fantastic song or Night Swimming. Those are, those are my favorites uh, for sure. So I'm going to pause for just one second and unpause. Okay, fun fact. What do I do for fun? Record collecting. What does my wife do for fun? construction on our house so she needed me to hold up a piece of drywall so she could cut it we are an interesting family all right so next moving on this was a gift from my beautiful wife great segue damien rice oh beautiful album gatefold double lp pretty sure black vinyl here's the beautiful sleeves um, yeah, black vinyl. Um, so this album, uh, definitely the album I think that got Damien Rice, you know, attention here in the U S uh, specifically the song, the blower's daughter on here. Uh, but you cannot discount cannonball or delicate, um, this, this absolutely gorgeous version of silent night on the end of here. Um, yeah, Damien Rice. Oh, phenomenal. Irish, kind of folky singer-songwriter. Beautiful. What do we got next? Just a couple left. So Linda Ronstadt. Uh, this is Simple Dreams by Linda Ronstadt. This is one that my wife, my, my wife, my mother found two copies of uh, doing yard sales and stuff like that. 
Uh, it has It's So Easy on it. Oh, man, that's hard for me to read it. Uh, simple Man, Simple Dream. Uh, poor, Poor, Pitiful Me. Uh, this is an older album, so it's just going to be on black vinyl. Uh, this is a uh, 1977 album by Linda Ronstadt. And super glad to have that in my collection. And the last are Bam Ska Dream by Jeff by, <laughs> by Jeff Rosenstock. That's what I was going to say. And then I was like, am I wrong? No. So this album, highly uh, celebrated album when it came out. Uh, sort of a reworking uh, of, an, of an album that he had already released in ska, uh, in the ska genre. Uh, so we've got No Time to Skank, Airwalks, uh, Ska Dream. This is one that came, that took a little bit to get here, and it did have like a split scene when it came, but you know, that happens sometimes. Um, I think I ordered this off of his band camp, White Vinyl. Great album. Very, very good album. A lot of people's favorite album and that were our ska fans that year. Um, and that is the end of the R's. Pretty big collection there of R's, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Well, wait till those S's come in in a minute. Uh, these are the last two videos I'm going to do this weekend. Uh, so check this one out. Hop over to the S's. And as I said in the last video, as awkward as it is to say this, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps these videos get noticed. It is taking me quite a while to do these videos, um, and uh, I would love for them to uh, get a few more plays. I'd love for them to get to other people who love vinyl. That's the thing. I love watching these vinyl collection videos, and the algorithm works in certain ways. I want to be able to see more of them, and I want other people who are like me to be able to see more of them. So share them for me, if you will. All right, see you, see you with the S's.